Hi everyone, welcome back to a Nine and Ten Dogs video at last. It's been a really long time since I've been doing the Ten Dogs series. If you remember it, mostly because of school, I haven't been able to record Ten Dogs at all because it's hard to record in Ten Dogs. I have to set up everything on like screen recording and stuff. And I have to set up more things than when recording the TV. But I finally found some time to record Ten Dogs again after so long. And I've actually been missing this dog, so I've been wanting to do more ten dogs at last for YouTube. There they are. Of course I have to give them a bad. I haven't really visited them in so long. Well, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to be doing today. And the only reason I have time doing more than 10 dogs is because of the extended spring break I got when my school closed due to the virus. This is actually the last day of my extended spring break before I do my online school stuff. That's going to be going on now. So weird lately. I've always never seen any like it before. Like stores closing and shorting your hours and my school closing. The only other time I got an extended spring break was during Hurricane Harvey, actually. And yeah, it's been really boring lately too. I haven't really been able to go anywhere because I've just mostly been staying indoors. And it's going kind of boring. At least for the 10 dogs to be like me, be like doing something. Outside of home, I walk dog stuff. I know I'm not actually outside of home, but at least I can feel like I'm outside of home. So yeah, I don't know how the rest of you are doing right now, but yeah, I'm going to be starting online school tomorrow, basically. Because my school is apparently not going to reopen until, until April. If things work out by then, that is. Or we're just going to be closed for the rest of the year, I don't know. I was always surprised my school closed because normally my school will avoid closing unless it absolutely has to and I guess this virus made it so absolutely had to close. So yeah, I'm going to homeschool by my school. It's going to be an interesting experience, I suppose, because I've never actually been homeschooled before. So, yeah, this is going to be new for me. Now, of course, I've got to feed them, get them water. Okay, good, we still have enough supplies. I actually forgot I got a new dog in this game. Yeah, it's been so long.
And now, because I really want to go outside, at least somewhere I can be outside without worrying about getting a virus or something, I'm going to be taking both these dogs for a walk. And I'm going to continue training them, of course, for the agility contest. I'm going to enough water. Okay, there we go. Now we are going on a walk. Finally going to be outside again. Okay, I've actually been outside recently to a park. But I mean... I haven't been able to go to any stores or anything, so... And these parks I've already been to so many times, so it's kind of boring now. At least in this game, I can go to places like the agility con, like the agility, like the gym, the gym. And I can go shopping in this game as well. I haven't been to any of these parks in Ten Dogs for quite a while, actually, so. Might want to go to a park as well, if I can. Oh, that one has dogs all the way over there. But I want this one up there to have dogs. See if we can go to the gym and the park at the same time. Nope, it's still empty. Guess it's not going to change. Nice to be able to go to different places in this game, at least. Go here and see if they have any new. Oh yeah, me other people too. Something that also couldn't do anyway. But yeah, with all this social distancing stuff going on. Makes it even harder to go places now. Can go here anyway. And I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be it for Buddy. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally miss any poop. Then someone's going to get mad at me. Okay, that's just the... Okay, we're at the gym to practice more agility. Which we haven't been to in a long time, so but he's probably going to be a little bad at this. Because it seems dogs and ten dogs, if you stop training them, but while they actually will get worse at agility, even if they're super good at it the previous time. Oh yeah, interesting thing I've noticed in 10 dogs. So for my main 10 dogs game, before doing a agility contest again, I retrain my dogs to make sure they're doing well. So they're able to perform properly. And it might be the same thing for disc competitions, but I'm not sure. But yeah, especially the double hurdle can give you a little bit of a hard time. Because they tend to not jump properly. 
like that. <laughs> oh, he... oh well, we won't hold those things. Well, that was complete miss. So you especially have to make sure to train your dogs on the double hurdle so they don't mess up like that. Especially if you're on the championship, because championship is like you cannot miss any obstacle, else you're already not in first place anymore. And you want to strive for first place. Oh, now he knocked over both hurdles. So I'll probably practice most on the double hurdles due to that. Oh, knocked down both again. It's so funny how the obstacles correct themselves automatically. Imagine they could do that in real life. Kind of funny. Just pops right back into place. He keeps on jumping too late. Oh, he knocked it all the way over there. Haven't seen that before. So far, he knocked it. He knocked it all the way over there. Haven't seen that before. Missing so much. Part of, part of that is my fault. I need to play this game my left hand due to where my tablet camera is located, so yeah. So sometimes I incorrectly aim him, but yeah, I can do pretty well this way. Oh, all the way over there this time. So far away. <laughs> okay, looks like he's mostly doing the um, double jump correctly now. So for agility contest, you can actually, if you lose, you can just, before they start announcing the winners, before the white screen happens, that's when the game safe, you can just turn off, turn off the game and then go back to it. Reset it and then it won't count. But for these videos, I'm taking um, the no cheating path. So even if I mess up on a jersey contest, I'm not going to be cheating and resetting the game while I'm recording these. You no, know, I'd rather not cheat for the series. I'd rather win the contest fairly. Okay, looks like he's doing good now. We got several excellence. So we'll move on before the gym kicks us out. Which happens if we're here for too long. I don't know why. They did the same thing for parks. I guess because other people want to come and you're in the way. I don't really know. And tell us Cassie don't kick you out. Though. But yeah, they will kick you off the same, so you have to make sure you practice everything before that happens, which I think is within 10 minutes. So yeah, I think after 10 minutes, it, you'll be kicked out of the park or the gym. Oh, was that a miss? Yeah, that was a miss. He bumped into it. So honestly, which Tenox cats brought back agility trials? I have no idea why they didn't bring back agility trials. And agility is really popular. And it's actually my favorite doll contest to watch. It's another reason I prefer Ten Dogs and Tenox cats. Of course, I love both games a lot. Nintendo was cast my very first Nintendo game. 
But yeah, I just prefer Antinox slightly more for several reasons, including the agility. It's actually really fun if you get the hang of it. But yeah, it looks like he's doing good on these, which I forgot the name actually. As usual. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, but I think it is 10 minutes until they, until they kicked out. I'm, I'm not sure though. Oh, I can that. Yeah, it's a little bit hard playing my left hand. Okay, got that. Right. Yeah, he's good on the single hurdle. Oh, that was a miss. That was a miss. Yeah, that was a miss. Okay, that's better. So yeah, I think the hardest obstacle in the game is gonna be the double hurdle because. You, ha you have to rely on your dog to make the jump correctly instead of doing it wrong. Instead of doing a single hurl jump. So you especially need to make sure you practice on um, these double hurls. And it actually might be harder to clear large dogs over because one time during a contest, I was competing with my Chihuahua. He's super fast. And, and one time, this was amazing. He did a single hurl jump on double hurl, but he actually managed to clear the obstacle and the game counted it. So yeah, it might be easier to actually get little dogs over the double hurls because in terms of cats, the little dogs are actually faster in this game, a lot faster, which I imagine that's the case in real life since they're smaller. That's another interesting note about on 10 dogs. Large dogs like Buddy are going to be slower, so they're bigger. But of course, you can still you can still win first place in the championship. I've done it a million times with Sammy, my other Labrador. Yeah, looks like Buddy is really doing well. I'm double hole now. I might try another contest during this video. See how well it goes. So I don't put all this practice to waste. We're still here, so that's good, I haven't kicked those out yet. I mainly just practice until it kicks us until it kicks us out. Oh, watch me do these. I think that sometimes they'll stop like that, I just have to like move the arrow a little bit to get them going again. Okay, now, now it's kicking us out. Yeah, now it decides to kick us out. That's fine, we got enough practice. Okay, we made the shop. You don't have to worry about catching a virus in here. And water and food is cheaper in these places, so I like shopping here where it supplies, because it's cheaper. And Tinox's cat doesn't have shops like this on walks, it's just exclusive items, it's not discounts on water and food or anything like that. Oh yeah, and the exclusive items in these store shops in Tinox's cat is also very expensive. 
think we have enough money for. Let's see. Yeah, we have enough money for maximum amount of water. I don't want to spend too much money. I, I, I do want to move into a new house sometime in this series, so try and save up the money. Let's see how much I'm just... Yeah, we might... I hit the I hit the back arrow, silly. Okay, I suppose that's good. It'd be more expensive to go to the actual store, so yeah. I only have four of these. I don't have a long-haired doll yet. But I might eventually, so I'm just gonna buy a few of these in case. So I can be repaired. There's any new over here. Now we already get these? Oh, I haven't gotten these yet. I just like collecting everything in Nintendogs games. That's always been a goal of mine in each Nintendogs game. So yeah, I'll just do it here as well. Nintendogs seems to have more things to collect than, than Nintendogs Cats 2. And lots of interesting stuff to find on walk. So yeah, I'm gonna try to record more often so we can go on more walks and see if we can find more stuff. Okay, that should be good. Okay, okay. So we're not mean zone. This time we're going to get a present. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's just a trash bottle. Come on, buddy. You can find something better than that. And he's going to be pooping. Guys. I think it deducts points if you don't pick up the poop. So, try to make sure I don't miss the poop. And finally, we will be going to this park, which I haven't been to for a long time, so yeah, it'll be nice seeing it again. Maybe we can do a little bit of this. So we'll throw like this. Yeah, that's probably gonna be too fast, yeah. I don't think I've done much with Buddy with Disc. Disc competitions in this game aren't very easy. You have to make sure to throw it just to right. So I actually prefer the agility competitions. A lot of people think the agility competitions are the hardest, but for me, it's actually the Disc. And maybe the obedience child, because with the obedience child, you have to be so perfect with your voice. Oh, it's just not going to pick it up, and you will lose points. Another thing I hate about this virus thing, you know how I can't go like shopping or anything because all stores are closing? Well, basically, that means no game new video games. I've been looking for some certain games for my 3DS, so yeah, now I cannot go to stores and look for them. That's one of the things I'm most upset about with all these store closures, so yeah. I know I can order them online still, but I, I've always rather <coughs> go to the, go into the actual store because. If I go to the actual store, I can get the game now, and, uh, I'm not actually 
very patient sometimes. I'd rather have a game now than later. So before having to resort to ordering stuff, I'd rather go to the physical store and see if they have it. Of course, stores never had that game I wanted, so I'll probably have to order it now anyway. Have it ordered. It's not a Nintendo Dogs game, in case you're wondering. It's something else. I have mostly all Nintendo Dogs games you can ever have, except for that. Japanese exclusive version. Chiba Inu, that's how you pronounce it. Haven't gotten that one yet. But I did already get my hands on one Japanese game, a, ch a Chihuahua version, so that's cool. You have to order Japanese ones online, of course. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. So this is how you practice for a disc in 10 dogs. You first have to throw it really slowly, and then as your dog gets better, you throw it more farther out. During a disc competition, you have to make sure you don't throw it too slow because it's actually possible for you to end up with zero points. Like, if you throw it like that, that'll give you zero points in a disc competition. Wait, they just catch a line down? I'm going to rewatch that footage. Haven't seen a dog do that in this game yet. It's so funny how in this game the disc will just hang out on their heads for a while till they catch it. So yeah, during the series, I'm going to try to get a new house. It's basically one of the goals of the series. And for that, I'm going to need enough money. Something uh, something that makes me prefer $10 to $10 tax once again is the fact that once you buy a house, you never have to buy it again. Well, it's not cats. After you buy a house, if you buy a new, a new one, you have to buy that same house you already bought again, which is disappointing. I mean, you already bought the house once. Why do you have to buy it again? It's weird. But yeah, Nintendo dogs you're not forced to buy the house you already bought again, and you can move back in whenever you want to. But unlike Nintendo Cats and Nintendo Dogs, you have to wait until the next day in order to get the new house you just got. Well, I guess Buddy is tired now. He did, he did pretty well. Looks like he's tired now. Yeah, he's painting and stuff. Can I get a ball? Oh, he's scared of it. Don't be scared of it, it's a ball. Oh. How about... This one. You like this? Let me see. Now oh, there he is. Seems he's not very interested in playing it anymore. In this game, the dogs are the dogs behave more realistically than they do in Tux Cats. 
they'll actually get tired and remain tired or actually become uninterested. One of the cats can really just force them to become interested again and they don't behave as realistically. But yeah, Antinox can actually become bored, uninterested. And they might become interested again. No, it's more like that. Want to play fetch with it now? Yeah, there we go. He's interested in it again. I don't know if playing fetch with it and this ball helps you with this competition. Probably doesn't. It's still fun. Just walking so slowly. Yeah, he's tired. I'm not very interested again. So I think I'm going to enter him a agility competition now and see how we do. We just he just become the ball then. I wish I'm not screen recording. Yes, camera always gets all um, messed up. Okay, we're back home. Maybe I'll walk really first before we do a competition. Yeah, for my golfer. Okay, so we're already in expert class for her. And we are about to enter, I think, the championship for Buddy here. The championship. The moment where if you miss one obstacle, you're no longer in the first place. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. And I might enter a few disc competitions in future episodes. Now that we've been practicing a little bit. The first class is very easy to do. You just have to not throw the discs too far away and dog. Just make sure they catch you enough times, then they should win. Oh yeah, we're about to enter the championship. We might not get first place the first time, but he might make a mistake, you see, and miss a double hurl jump or something. Because once again, just one miss and you're not going to be in first place. But as long as we get at least third place, we won't be dropped down a class. Yeah, I'm going to be walking Lily before that. And then I'm running out of time for recording. I won't be going to any of the places of her day. But I will try to next time. So we're just going to see how many presents and people we can meet. I don't think we we'll reach that one. Okay. So we got four of them to see.
pee, not pee. Just pee. Okay, that's double bark. Yeah, we're going to need someone. Do you have the coronavirus? No, just kidding. No, it's Archie with his dog Spot. No one gets a virus in this perfect world. You know, ten dogs. You don't have to worry about stuff like that. See, look at that. I was just talking about getting a house while I'm still recording this episode. It's getting a new house. And then here he goes about remodeling his house. How did he know? Uh, I don't know if they're gonna get along. It doesn't look like it. Let's see. If Spot would just calm down. Okay, Spot seems calmer. I always wondered why his dog's name is Spot. Like, there's no spots on, on his dog. Oh, they're getting along! There's just no music. Okay. Well, we're too late for the music. <laughs> they started getting along the split second the uh, message to leave came up. Yeah, they kind of started getting along a little bit too late here. But yeah, they were starting to get along. Just was missing the music because it was too late. The dog is still- The dog is still- Oh, there's trash! No, 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 no! Don't eat trash! I have to, like, really yank them to get them away from the trash. Like, I'm sorry, but yeah, in this game, you really have to yank them to get them away from the trash, else they'll just go straight back at it. And Snox Cat's a little bit easier to get them away from the trash. No, Lily, you've been peeing, like, a lot. Okay. I just pee like a lot. Walks are funner than Tonks Cats. I'll give Tonks Cats that. So in the future, I want to do some Tonks Cats episodes too. Because there are admittedly a few more things you could do there than just game like going to the cafe and things like that. So yeah, I want to do episodes on that too eventually. The problem is I cannot go to the store and get a new... Tonks Cats game card anymore, but I mean, I do have a spare Tonks Cats game card, so I might just reset it, and I'll be doing YouTube with that one. So yeah, I've been thinking about that. And let's see what we got here. Please don't be trash. Oh, mommy, it's not trash this time. <laughs> it's not trash this time. This is, I think it's the fourth time she peed. It's Maggie. See, this is a, this is a hint to how music in this game works for so the players. They can actually, they can actually, for real, change the behavior of the dogs for a while. It's interesting, can count as cats. It's only like, I don't know, it's like, it doesn't really like change the behavior. It's just like, very temporary. It's like, just like, play like right there, and they just do something, and then you leave the music, and then they're perfectly back to normal. And this game it actually affects them for a while. It doesn't matter if you... Have the music going play in the background instead of right in front of you. It will still be affecting them for a while. So yeah, it's been interesting this game. But I mean, of course it doesn't change your dogs forever. They go back to normal personality afterwards. So anyway, why is Spot called Spot? I mean... I have never seen any spots on that dog. 
I've always wondered. It's taking too long again. Yeah, they're they're not they're not gonna do that long. Yeah, Maggie's a bad dog. Okay, bye. We all know Maggie's a bad dog now. Just kidding, could have been really. Well, it's kind of funny when they don't get along because they start going all crazy. Or when it cats, they just stand there barking. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Good thing I got that poo because there's another one to see over there. And if I had not picked up that poop, it would have been angry. Dog owner complained to me about that. But instead, because I remembered to pick up the poop, it's a lovely little present. That should not be trash. Okay, it's not trash, an accessory. That's good. Someone left behind an accessory, we picked it up. Or something. I don't know these fucking things. I've always imagined as people just dropping stuff behind us, picking it up. That makes sense, right? It's been 40 minutes now, but I still want to do a competition with Buddy. See how we do on the championship the first time. So I'll be doing that really fast. If it lets me. Okay, it's letting me. Because, like, if you change the time on the 3DS, it won't let you in. I think I did have a day like same time, but it looks like this game is willing to let me play, so that's good. See? Zero points. That means I missed not a single obstacle. And try to pay attention to the time, the one and two. If your dog is too slow, it's going to mess up your place. See, they're even like, don't miss any obstacles. I've got to change the name on this game. That's my old channel name. I'm gonna try doing it on my right hand. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, good, we cleared off that one. Oh, this one's the hard one. This music is seriously so thrilling. I just listened to Intelix Cats 1 tell me which championship music is better because I think this championship music is way better than the one in Tenox Cats. Yeah, I tried going to Seesaw to get this layout because if you don't, your dog will jump over that hurdle instead and that will mess up everything. With the Seesaw, you have more control. Okay, I think we actually won first place. Because the, the, the first place your dog got like 50 something, I think. Okay, I think I think we did it. I think we did. I think we won the prize for the championship. Okay, let's see. In third place with C. See if we if we miss if we miss just one obstacle, we go back down to master class by the way. So yeah, I have to be careful in championship. If Buddy had missed one double hurdle or something, we would have gone back down to the master class. Because once again, I'm I'm just playing fair in this in these episodes. I'm not in the series. I'm not going to be cheating by turning off the 3DS. What, Maggie? No one told me Maggie was going to be in this competition. Maggie was so mean to Lily. Maggie Lily was the one doing this. See, the previous first placer was 50. 
Yeah, these dogs are real slow pokes, by the way. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, they're like real slow pokes, you know. Maggie is not even a big dog. It's like, do we just like walk the entire time? Like, how do they go so slow? Like, I've nearly finished with a Labrador in 40 seconds, and then these dogs take like over 50 seconds. It's like they're just walking the entire time. It's so funny. So yeah, we did it. We won the championship. On the first try. If it wasn't for me practicing with Buddy again, we would have obviously lost to that double hurdle. So yeah. We get an extra boost in money, that's good. Now we have $2,000. Now I have to defend the crown. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> We're just competing against ourselves. So when we win, we'll just lose. That makes a lot of sense. And I think he only says that at one time when you just when your dog wins the championship for the first time because I have a streak going on with my main dogs and he never has said that again. He just says other lines. So yeah, that's it for this video. Really happy to have gone back on ten dogs because I've been missing these dogs. And I've been missing doing and ten dogs. Uh, for YouTube. Wish me luck on my online school, homeschooling thingy. I don't know how well it's going to work out, but I hope it works out well. I just want to pass 10th grade, you know. So yeah, wish me luck on that too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.